Good evening, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and exceedingly glad in it. Psalm 65 and 11, you crown the year with a bountiful harvest, and even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. Numbers 14 and 8, if the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us safely into that land and give it to us. It is a rich land flowing with milk and honey. Numbers, I'm sorry, First Chronicles 23 and 26, now the Levites will no longer need to move the tabernacle and its furnishings from place to place. Father, we thank you for giving us rest, relief, and release from our days of nomadic worship as you establish us in a place of our own this month in Jesus' name. Finally, Isaiah 58 and 11, the Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a well-watered garden, like an ever-flowing spring. Well, we greet you with our weekly email message and just to say hello to you and just uh, to thank God for you and just... Um, just to give you a few minor updates for this week. Um, this Wednesday morning and this Wednesday, I'm sorry, and this Friday morning. This Wednesday morning and this Friday morning, as well as Wednesday evening, our midweek meetings uh, continue. And we're praying on Wednesday and Friday morning. And then on Wednesday evening is our midweek Bible uh, encounter uh, along with prayer. Um, you will find readings for uh, this week for our Bible Literacy Campaign Parts 1 and Parts 2. And so we're moving into the third week of the second part as we are going through Core 52. I'm being immensely blessed by it. I'm praying and hoping that you are as well. In addition to our reading through the entire Bible, it's also a blessing whenever we do that, uh, exposing ourselves to the entirety of God's Word. And then um, that's basically going to be it. Uh, you'll find the links to uh, yesterday's installment. Um, and um, also, yes, uh, last Wednesday's Bible teaching as well. I understand that Elder Vanessa did a wonderful job. So for those of you that want to avail yourself of it, it will be made available to you. Um, please remember that we are shifting our giving and we have officially moved that way as of the beginning of this month. Um, and it's in the uh, email message, that new link. If there are extenuating circumstances where technology is concerned, we are making a concession for the time being for you to use the other platforms. But we're asking you to please move towards signing up for that, as well as Community Builder, um, the new uh, church manager platform that we're using to be sure that we can connect with everyone and serve you. And I'm going to put that link in this email as well. All right. Well, that's it. I want to inaugurate and initiate something with these emails, and that is a thought for the week. And the thought for this week is... Although you're going through it, don't let it go through you. Although you're going through it, don't let it go through you. All right? Marinate on that a little while. See what the Spirit of God would say to you. And have a blessed and uh, prosperous week as you move into the levels of victory that God has ordained for you. Let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord. You are our strength and our Redeemer. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly, but that we could ask or think according to the power that works in us. And to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, well without end. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and lift his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you. And give you peace and be with you now and forevermore. It is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we say and pray. Amen. God bless you.